So the next paragraph, um, the inexcusable, that inexcusable act has now produced unintended consequences. Uh, you know what else produced unintended consequences? Implicit biases, systemic racism. Yeah, 400 um, years of discrimination against African Americans. The use of force model. We can go on. The, the, that inexcusable act has now produced unintended consequences. Like, hey guys, you know what? You know, you know who is responsible for setting this forest on fire? Not the people who cleared all the brush and cut down all the trees. It's, it's the, the match. Person, it's it's the match. So uh, the match guys, whoever lit the match, it's their fault. It's not the loggers who cleared. I know it all. we're supposed to keep language to a minimum here, but this inexcusable act has now produced unintended consequences. No shit. <laughs> like. Of course, there are consequences for a police murder of an unarmed black, black man. Like, anyways, peaceful protests and demonstration expressing the collective despair and frustration of communities that have been racked by such injustices for far too long have now exploded into destruction and violence. Why do you have to call them communities? They are the white white community has not been racked by such injustices. No. It's specifically the black community. You have to call it out. Label things for what it is. Use direct language. And also, you are saying that peaceful protests and demonstrations have now exploded into destruction and violence, which is, by many accounts, not the case. If you look at, like, you can see plenty of videos. They won't show it on, you know, mainstream yes. media, but you can see it on social media, where it's people that are, sneak up behind the protest hours later, light stuff on fire, break buildings, loot, in most cases, the protesters and the demonstrators are not the ones causing destruction and violence. To say that those exploded into destruction and violence is saying that the people who are being targeted for racism are the cause of racism. It's victim shame. That's what it is. It's victim shame. Exactly. That, yeah. The other thing is you're... So it's, it's, it's on top of the victim shaming, though. It, it also says that, like, Oh, this is like a natural outgrowth, right? Yeah. Like, you know, we understand that it this the sentence construction specifically by saying that, oh, what once started out as a good and positive thing now has turned into something else. You are by your sentence construction implying implicitly that implying implicitly, you're implying that what that the thing that it has become is a bad thing and so you're misrepresenting the reality of the situation on multiple mm -hmm. levels mm -hmm. like that sentence could have been phrased peaceful protests and demonstrations have began which express the despair and frustration of the black community which has been racked by such injustices for far too long that would have been an amazing sentence exactly but instead you have to first off say that it's exploded into destruction and violence which again it hasn't and two, the collective despair and frustration of communities. This is, it's, it's, this is specifically about, you know, you, yes, all police brutality is bad and people are protesting that, but specifically police brutality against black people. Yes. Like, uh, specifically against black people. Anyways. There's a reason that not a lot of people are talking about the one time when that uh, black police officer killed a white woman in Michigan. That's not yeah. what this is about. Sure, no. that's a bad thing. And it was an example of like, okay, the f use of force was escalated way too quickly and the police officer acted, you know, um, way out of line. But that's not what this is about because it's about police mm -hmm. ex excessively increasing the use of force against African-American communities, against unarmed black men. 